takes is a field goal. And uh, back there for the Rattlers is Chad first Hunter. First. They almost get that punt. There's no flag on the field. Great return by the runner. He's down at about the 35-yard line. Looks like the Rattlers are going to be set up at one minute and nine seconds remaining. No time out. Afonso, what do the Rattlers have to do to get into field goal range? The defense is expecting out routes, uh, hitch, quick and goes. Um, and all of those are options uh, that you have to explore in this situation. Uh, the Rattlers have done a great job of throwing a variety of things at the Tigers as well this game. So just keep them guessing, go to what works, and make smart decisions. So here we go with one minute and nine seconds remaining. First down, 10 yards to go. Florida A&M. Ball marked on the 42-yard line. Stanley back, flips the ball out to his running back, who has some running room, and he breaks a tackle, and he's down at about the 46-yard line. Rattlers have to hurry up right now with a minute and two seconds left in the game as they're trying to get set. And right there, right after he broke that first tackle, he has to be thinking. We don't have any timeouts. But regardless, still a good game by the Rattlers, and they're going to run it here. Interesting. He gets about six yards. Clock still running. 49 seconds left in the game. Rattlers need to get a play in. Jackson State. I think, is defending. I think Simmons just wanted to catch him off guard right there. Stanley back to pass. Looks complete to Chad Hunter. He goes out of bounds at about the 36-yard line. 34 seconds remaining in the game. Jackson State, 18. Florida A&M, 16. Rattlers driving with 34 seconds left on the clock. And they cannot afford in any way, shape, or form to be tackled in field. Uh, if, if they are, then they're most likely going to have the kicking team running on the field for the next play. Stanley. Set to take the snap. He takes the snap, and they give it to the running back. I guess they're positioning for a field goal, which will be a, an extremely long field goal. 29 seconds on the clock. Oh, nope. Getting the first stop stop the uh, the clock for a little bit there. Clock moving. 24 seconds. Stanley deep. Tries a man. It's Chad Hunter, and he's down to the oh, and Did he, he tie rope? Touchdown. Touchdown. He scored. Touchdown. He scored with 16 seconds left on the clock. Big play. Is Stanley. Is that a flag right there? You know what? It wouldn't surprise me. It would not surprise me. That is a flag on the 17-yard line. We have seen a lot of those today. Uh, but that was a huge play for Florida and m Okay, he stepped out before the touchdown. He didn't score. He did not score. 16 seconds left on the clock. And the give is up the middle, and he stopped, which is interesting because Florida and m doesn't have any time out. It's nine seconds left in the game. They're trying to get their kick team on it. They're done not going to make it. Four, There's four seconds left in the three, game, and two, they are not going to get this kick off. It's too late, and the game is over. Jackson State holds on for 18 to 16 win here in Tallahassee. The Tigers are celebrating their first win on the season, and clock management. You have to talk about clock management there. I'm not quite sure what Simmons was thinking. Uh, the first time he ran it, there was a little bit more time, and uh, I was sure he was just trying to catch him off guard. There, you don't have the time to, to try and trick someone. It could have worked out if they scored, but since they didn't, the Rattlers are going to lose home stadium or leave home stadium with a loss tonight. So Jackson State gets their first win on the season. They are elated as they defeat the Rattlers 18 to 16 here at Bragg Stadium in Tallahassee, Florida. So for Alfonso Barber, I'm Melvin Beal saying so long from Bragg Stadium here in Tallahassee, Florida, where the final score is Jackson State 18, Florida A&M 17 in a spectacular football spectacular, game. Spectacular, spectacular. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been 
a presentation of ESPN.